turned me into a monster, and I don't like who I became. We are hearing for the first time from the man who is admitted to killing, raping, and murdering 14-year-old Aliana DeFries on our way to school in Cleveland last winter. A lot of people are asking why the admission after his initial statement. Chris Ty here now to explain the strategy. Chris, good evening. Russ, good evening to you. At first, he denied it, had an elaborate series of stories explaining that he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Then he admitted to being a monster, using screwdrivers and drills on his quiet teenage victim. Tonight, Christopher Whitaker, in his own words. The world is going to hate me now, and she never had a chance to grow up, never had a chance to experience anything, and I took that away from her, and there's nothing I can do to bring her back. In the last few days, we've seen the final minutes of this 14-year-old's life on her way to school. Yesterday, they laid out the weapons, the drill, the knife, and the screwdriver through her head. This scene in this abandoned home was as grueling to work on as any, according to several grizzled Cleveland detectives, who today played the videotape. Tell us what happened. The tape that shows the transformation of a man denying he did it to a man ready to confess. I was so high and I was so out of my mind and it was like I was out of character and I got what I got coming and I deserved it. I will write a formal apology to her family that they probably don't want to hear, but I will do it anyway. I just want, I don't want a circus made out of this. I just want to go to court and get it over with. Now the strategy. He could be sentenced to death, laying his cards on the table, admitting it was him. That is all done to try and avoid being sent to death row down the road. For him, a major victory would be a life sentence without parole. Court resumes on Monday. Chris Ty, Channel 3 News.